In this video, I'm going to show you my Google predictive search method for locating negative keywords. And we're basically going to take advantage of the predictive search results that Google shows us when we're performing a search. We're going to use those results to identify negative keywords for our campaigns. When I do this, uh, rather than using the search box here on google.com, uh, what I use is the box in the Firefox web browser. I've found that this displays a lot more results, which is perfect for, for what we're doing here now. Um, basically, you're going to enter your keyword into the box. So let's pretend we are a plumber and we're looking for keywords related to, uh, we're looking for negative keywords related to the keyword plumbers. So I've entered plumbers here, and you can see that uh, almost all of these predictive results are searches that we wouldn't want our ads showing for if we were just a plumbing service company. So what I'm going to do is start my list here in a Word document. So we have putty, supply, don't wear ties. Tape, salary, snake. Um, of course, plumbers near me uh, would be a good quality keyword, but crack, union, and wrench are not. Uh, now, Google does do a somewhat of a job of filtering out irrelevant searches. Um, they're not going to show ads for plumbers. Uh, if people are just Googling plumbers crack, but it's not going to hurt to add that. And the more negative keywords you have, the better, because we can't rely on Google to, to show our ads when we want them to. The next step here is to, uh, cont is to start with the alphabet as far as what the next word is going to be here. I'm going to start with A. This is going to show me all the predictions that start with A. So we can see Apprentice, Augur, move on to B, you get the idea. We want to go through the entire alphabet here. Um, it actually won't take that long to do and it'll be more than worth it in terms of saving you from irrelevant clicks. And then you'll want to keep doing this for all your keywords at least the keywords that are going to be more popular and have more volume. So we'd also want to do this for plumber, singular, and we'll see a lot of the same results, but some different ones. Jokes, job description. And once you go through this, you'll have a really good start on your negative keyword list. It's not going to be completely comprehensive, uh, but this is where I always start when I'm doing my negative keyword research.